All right, here in my massive inventory, about to clear out all my duplicates. I think that's it. Now I was watching back my old videos for like the humble down to earth person I am. And I realized that the, hold on, can I fucking kill this guy? Thanks. And I remember that the KF5 is really satisfying to use. So well, fuck it, we're back around Advanced Warfare. Whatever. Playing TDM, because again, that's the only mode. What I don't understand is like why Uplink is just grouped in the Mosh Pit playlist and why it doesn't have its own mode. I feel like Uplink is too good just to be a Mosh Pit mode. It deserves more. Now, I sh I'm sure there's a ton of people wondering. Oh, there's no one wondering, but I'm just going to say it anyway. There's probably at least one person wondering, hey, what happened to the Black Ops Cold War camo grind? Actually, no, there isn't. You know what? Just fucking speak, goddammit. Speak. Don't snipe me. Fuck you think you are. Idiot, I'm better than you. A move is true with this FOV, bro. I can't. <laughs> My brain. It does not function. I don't know where the fuck this guy went. Oh, there. Completely different guy. I don't know where the other dude. I'm not gonna lie. I just got kind of lazy. I just stopped playing Cold War, and today I decided to go back, and I got my shit rocked. Just kept dying, and I was like, alright, you know what? Whatever. I'll just try it again tomorrow. So I guess the procrastination just restarted. Love that. Expect a video in 40 years where I finally say, hey guys, I unlocked DM Ultra. Where the fuck? Hold on. I gotta just. Alright, I think I'm good. My brain cannot process this game, I'm gonna be brutally honest. I should just start playing Call of Duty at low FOV, so that's easier to get used to the older games. Since I play them so often. I guess today's goal is just to level the KF5 so I can like get a red dot for it. Cause I've gone from iron sight only to if I don't have a red dot, I'm kinda fucked. I don't know what it is, but I feel like just like one day I try to red dot again and suddenly my life has changed. Huh? Oh, he's using a kill shriek. Oh, that's my bad. Is it that thing? I literally. Oh, there it is. It's in flames already. Whatever, it's gone. Hello? That was fucking stupid. Give me the HBR. Or the MP11, that's also fine. Wait, this thing looks weird. Look at this. I kind of like it. <laughs> no! We're good. Haunted. I feel like my eyes still haven't fully synced up with the game yet. I just do not know what I'm looking at. What the fuck is this thing? This is probably the dumbest thing they did with Advanced Warfare, but they just like randomly decide to add like these old ass guns to the game. It's kind of hilarious. I went positive. Nice. <gasps> Supply drop! Give it to me. It's garbage. All right, well, we got the red dot. It's kind of over for everyone. Also, I just discovered, and first of all, I had no idea you could even use emblems in calling card, but you can make a custom emblem in this. Emblems also editable in the Call of Duty app. That is such a lie. At least now it is. I did recently come to a realization. Like, I run a Call of Duty YouTube channel. It's meant to be Call of Duty in Halo, but nothing's happening in Halo, so it's basically just Call of Duty. And I know something. I... Wow, do not leave that in the video. I noticed that I haven't done a single campaign playthrough. I have played a lot of like the older campaigns like in my spare time, so I'm not leaving those in the video, but I haven't played the Black Ops 3 campaign. I haven't played the Advanced Warfare campaign. I haven't, I haven't played the original three Call of Duties because I don't have them. I haven't played Mario for 2019. I don't know if I already said that one. I didn't get past the second mission in Ghosts. I also haven't played the World War II and Vanguard campaigns. Those are easy to forget. I might record the MW campaign just because like Modern Warfare 2 is coming out and I want to record that as well. So that should be fun. That's like kind of guaranteed a longer video. Also, I'm doing terrible right now. I don't know what these guys just did, but like now I'm going one and seven. Not even standing still, I can't hit my shots. I'm getting shredded from every side, dude. These guys have everything on lock. I gotta reload. Owned. Crazy. I do not have a secondary. <laughs> Alright. Well. Dude, I wish there was like a meter. Like, okay. I wish there was like a meter so I can like actually know what when I can boost and when I can't. That'd be so helpful. What the fuck? Why am I getting shredded? Is it the red dot? No shot, I'm bad at red dots again. 
Alright, cool. I just went back to the same place this guy was at. It's not even the red dots anymore. I'm just a fucking idiot. Can I, I'm gonna open this window, bro. It's like 40 degrees. Dude, I can't hit anything. <laughs> 2085, who joined the game? No one. We're just randomly trashed now. Everyone is going like quadruple negative. Well, damn. I guess my advanced warfare addiction is cured. Jesus Christ, I got a kill. No, there's a guy right there. I just know it. Yep. No, there's three guys, and there's one guy behind me. How do they gotta be in a call or something? There's no way. What? You're playing with that? Damn, we just got rocked by some fucking idiots. We really are that terrible. You know what? I'm taking out the red dot. That's it. All right, don't let me down. Elite. Holy shit, an elite shirt. No way. My day has been made. What I will say is that I love how in like new, newer Call of Duties, you can literally just like edit a class mid-match. You can't do that in this game. Holy shit, this suppressor is insane. Okay, what just happened? What just happened? Why am I one game dog shit terrible and then the next game a perfect gamer? I do not understand. This is ridiculous. Call of Duty always treats me like this. Go is matchmaking or not. It's just completely fucked. I think my brain is just stupid. Oh, so I got one comment. They deleted it now, but they said, Why'd you make the game look worse than it already does on the Black Ops 2 360 video? Buddy, they, it, the game looks... Okay, you know what? It sounds a bit harsh. Black Ops 2 is a very pretty game when you're, like, running on PC and shit, but, like, Black Ops 2 360, like, it looks like... It looks like dog shit in 2022. Like, you can tell it was not made to be played, like, 10 years later. That's why my plutonium videos look like 100 times better than the 360 ones. That's because like that's like the peak performance of that game. Like plutonium Black Ops 2 looks fucking beautiful, but on the 360, like that console has 512 megabytes of RAM. And you're thinking you can run Black Ops 2 with anti-aliasing. Get the hell out of here. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I got a UAP! Holy shit! Greatest day of my life on it. Fuck. This guy knows how to use the laser thing? Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, only 14 and 9 if I did way better than that. Wow, I'm so delusional. Okay, that's fine. You did it! Damn, that guy is pure dookie. What? The whole Power Rangers just dropped on me. Trash. What? Aw. Uh, how is this guy getting streaks for destroying them? What? He hopped out. No, fuck it. I'm on the Eddie. You can't do shit. All right. Damn, 24 kills, double digits. I've got nothing else to say. I mean, this game is still pretty fun.